EXP RAN, an emulator for gaining experience with radio access networks, edge computing, and slicing. These instructions will guide you to get EXP RAN up and running. Let's start installing the pre-requirements. You need to install some packages and a couple of Python libraries. After installing the Zen hypervisor, you need to restart your computer. It's highly recommended to configure the Zen Don Zero RAM. Now it's time to clone the repository. After that, you need to download EXP RAN Zen Virtual Machine. Finally, in order for EXP RAN to save the results, of the emulation tests from the VMs to your host, you need to create a user on your host for EXP RAN. This is a non-root user and it is only going to be used for SCP, so there are no big security issues regarding the creation of this user. Its password has to be Nekos. Nonetheless, you can delete this user at any moment Alternatively, EXP RAN has a module to destroy the created infrastructure. This module already deletes the EXP RAN user after the emulation is done. Now, EXP RAN is fully configured and you can start your tests. There are three ways in which the user can interact with the tool. This figure details these interactions. Single arrows represent mandatory flow. Arrows only with dashed lines identify user inputs. Arrows composed by dots and dashed lines represent optional flow. Rectangles identify the system modules and circles represent input files. Please note that step 7 has double meaning, as it is an optional flow and an user input. Let's start with the model adapter module. This module is responsible for converting the output of a CPLEX optimization model into an infrastructure and service description files for EXP RAM. You can run the model adapter by running the following script combined with the solution and the topology file generated by CPLEX. The username information is also necessary. In this example, minus "-u", is your username, minus "-s", is your solution file, and minus "-t", is your topology file. After running the script, both the infrastructure and VRAN Max service description files are going to be exported to the same directory of the model adapter. The topology generator is designed to generate random RAN topologies. We use a Waxman graph to generate the topology, a type of graph very similar to the topologies usually found in RAN. You can run the topology generator by running the following script combined with the Waxman arguments, where minus "-u", is your username, minus "-n", is the number of nodes, minus "-a", is the alpha model parameter, Minus B is the beta model parameter, and minus L is the maximum distancing between the nodes. The J 
JSON output containing the topology description is located at the same directory of the topology generator script. The third method of iteration allows the user to specify his own infrastructure and service files, which can be very useful for small use cases. In this case, the user describes the infrastructure and service files by writing the JSON files following the EXPR notation. Examples of the EXPR notation in some infrastructure and service files can be found in the directory description files inside the repository. The benchmark module is a powerful built-in feature in EXP Run. It configures the EXP Run 2 according to the hardware capacity where it's running. It can run the benchmarker by running the following script combining with the arguments, where minus b is the best scenario bandwidth in megabits per second, minus p is the accepted packet loss, minus d is the duration of each individual test in seconds. Minus S1 is the first number of the scale ratio, and minus S2 is the second number of the scale ratio. Let's start with a VRAN MAC emulation. Analyzing the robustness of a solution generated by a RAN model or making a sensitive analysis of the module is very time consuming. In this context, EXP RAN becomes a useful tool since it makes possible to perform tests by varying different parameters of interest and collecting several metrics. Here is an example how to use the script. Minus E is the emulation type should always be VRAN in this case. Minus T is the duration of each individual test in seconds. Minus I is the infrastructure description file. And minus S is the service description file. In this use case, we illustrate how Experian can emulate a network slice in which a video service provider can easily deploy his services and differentiate the video delivered to his users. Here is an example of how to use this script. Minus E is the emulation type, should always be video in this case. Minus D is the duration of each individual test in seconds. And minus I is the infrastructure description file while minus "-s", is a service description file, and minus "-b", is the starting bandwidth capacity of the best effort clients. The system monitor is designed for collecting specific monitoring metrics related to the infrastructure and services. The collected metrics are saved in text files and can be accessed by the user in order to understand the results of the emulation. The user can use these text files results to plot graphs and analyze his emulation. We recommend Matplotlib. Here is how to install it in Ubuntu. Here is one example of a graph plotted with the results of a video streaming service. The example is located at the system monitor directory. To run it, simply execute. 
There is a script that is responsible for destroying an emulated infrastructure. Here is an example how to run the infrastructure destroyer, where minus "-u", is a flag to delete or not the ex run user, and minus "-i", is the infrastructure description file. If you would like to contact us to contribute to this project, ask questions or suggest improvements, feel free to email us. This work is a part of the NECOS project.